So yes, everybody, MAGFest happened, and boy do I have a couple things to say. Yes, the time is over. It happened, it came, it went, it's gone, and it was glorious. It was wonderful, brilliant, it was everything that I thought it would be, and it more, always. As it always is, it is more than I think it could be, every time. I think, like, oh yeah, I've got a measure for this now, and it's different. Every year I go and do something which basically is the same thing, right? Every year it's MAGFest, but it's always different. This year, my girlfriend had a pony table selling pony stuff, right? And I was sort of an investor and involved in that. Well, now it's quite different. I'm really involved in it now, where I re help run the table. I was running it for several hours. I was there selling stuff, and now I am pretty much a co-founder sort of deal with this. She, of course, has put most of the money forward. I'm not trying to steal credit from her, but I'm now involved in this too, and I'm helping. I'm running the table, and the next convention we go to, people, is Cloudsdale Congress. We'll be there. We should be setting up Friday. It depends on a few things, but we will be there. We will be selling you ponies and things and whatever we can actually get together. Not just ponies, various nerdy things, but it will mostly be ponies. And we have various people contributing different things that we will be selling to you. Crafts, made by friends, that sort of thing. So if you're going to Cloudsdale, look for me. I'll be there at the table at least some of the time. Either me, blue-haired lady, one of us will be there. So if you're still listening and with us on this whole next little advertising thing where I'm shamelessly plugging myself, it's my video, I can do that. <laughs> if you mention this video hearing about our table from the whole Bobo Thursday channel, and you buy $10 from us, we'll actually knock a dollar off. That's that's a real thing. Keep that in mind. So, back to MAGFest. Like I said, I got involved in running the table and doing all of that. And, well, that was quite a transformative experience. It sort of ignited some passion in me. I found out that I like being at that table, selling things, being a part of all of that. I pretty much slept about 10 hours the entire convention. I was there doing things, having fun. First day I drank and I had fun. The second day I wandered around and did things and ended up running the table. Third day I was running the table a lot. And some people said, hey, doesn't it kind of suck, you know, you're stuck running the table? And my answer is no, it did not suck in the least. I got to talk to so many interesting people, do and see so many fun and neat things just by being at that table. Yes, I was quote-unquote stuck, but at the same time, most of the convention came to me in the end. And I still got to go around and have my fun, but the pressure was on, and there's a lesson that comes from this. And I will talk about other fun MAGFest experiences and whatnot in other videos, but for now, let's come to the lesson I wish to teach, which is that when you place yourself in a position where you have to do something or else, you'll do it. It's surprising, actually, how you'll find your own capabilities rising to the challenge when you put yourself in a do-or-die situation where you are passionate about it. Because, you see, I invested some of our hotel money into merchandise. Well, our, I say. I put my share into it. We still had hotel money, of course. I'm not going to invest other people's money. But I invested my money into merchandise instead of just hotel with her agreement because we were splitting a room and all that. So it really came down to where sales paid for our room each night, where our table business was keeping us in MAGFest, basically. And I had contingencies and whatnot, but the pressure was on. So when I wasn't working the table, when I was having fun, I also wore a sign advertising our table. And if I saw people looking at pony stuff and talking about it, I'd mention our table because we had pony merchandise and I wanted to generate sales. So it became an issue of where I had my fun, but I had a goal in the back of my mind. It was pushing me and driving me and keeping me going. And like, oh, by the last day, I didn't, hadn't really slept, you know. We were running the table. We, if we weren't running it, the table was closed, no sales. So quite simply, it was run the table. No sleep, all of that built up into, I still had an awesome time. I was running a table, I had obligations, I wasn't sleeping as much, and I still had an awesome time because I chose to make fun out of the events. Yes, I was working. Yes, I had obligations. As I've said, it didn't stop me from having fun. And that was sort of a message I've done before where I talked about my other, my last year MAGFest experience where breaking my finger did not stop me from having the time of my life. This time, 
It comes down to doing a job that I liked doing, selling people ponies and connecting to them over the merchandise, where the obligation stopped being an obligation completely. It started being a part of the whole experience. It started being a thing that added to the fun of it because there was a challenge involved. Not just I was there to have fun, but I was there to have fun and a mission to accomplish. That goal drove me further. It drove me to do more, to have more fun when I could, because I knew that there was other things I had to do. But it also drove me to turn the other things I had to do into more fun. It wasn't a job by the time I got to the swing of it. It was an experience. It was fun. And the fact that I had to pay the room with this job only added to that fun in the end because it was a challenge I knew I could accomplish if I put my utmost into it. I could have fun with it. I could achieve something meaningful. I could set us up for the future. And I could pave the way for my right now. All at once, while having fun. And that became a synthesis of work and play. You know how people say, do what you love? Well, here I found something that I can do that I love and can be fun while productive. And that sort of marriage of productivity and accomplishment and fun becomes well, that idea people talk about when they say you've got to do what you love and find that thing, right, that you can do for the rest of your life that keeps you fulfilled and paid and all of that. Well, since we found it, we found that this was fun, we had fun while achieving our accomplishments and making money, we've decided to keep it going. We've invested more of our time, effort, and expense into this, and we're going to go to other conventions and sell more of this stuff and make this something because, well, fuck, we enjoyed it, and it was hard and rewarding. Ties into that whole thing about effort is required for success, right? Who's to say that that effort can't be the most fun you've had at the same time? I have learned this from this year's MacFest, as I learned something from each year's MacFest, that one can have fun with the Sword of Damocles hanging over your head. I might not have made the money to pay, but, well, I did. I worked at it until it happened, and we made it happen. Thus, it was fun. And there's not a lot else I can really add, other than there will be more MAGFest videos coming, talking about the other fun things that happen and stories I can tell. And that if you really want to make something of your life, and you don't want to hate yourself while doing it, find that thing that not only makes you happy, that not only pays your bills, but that leaves you coming home at the end of the day saying, well, I'm glad I had my time off, but man, I can't wait to go back tomorrow. In essence, achieve meaning in your pleasure. Have your pleasure, but direct it towards a greater goal. Find the synthesis between your productivity and your recreation. Combine them into a greater whole so that you may have fun while being productive. And I think you'll find that a lot of other things in your life come together a lot more quickly. Just something to think about. The next convention we go to, people, is Cloudsdale Congress. We'll be there. Uh. There we go. That's a blooper for you. It's a real video now. <laughs> Now I just need to get paid. <laughs> <clears throat> get myself ready for this so I don't start gagging in the middle. Turn oh, it dog, you fart. Message received. I knew it. That's what I was waiting for. I knew it would keep happening. <laughs> Farting dogs and messages. Wonderful. All right.